Hey there, and welcome to Dull Motion. About three years ago, I started the legendary Pokemon Bird series. A series where I made Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. And the plan was to continue with Lugia and ho -Oh. I guess we're finally going to continue. In this video, we're going to make Yes, ho -ho. the master of the legendary beast, the Pokemon Gold mascot, and best known as the first legendary Pokemon Ash sees in the anime. For my interpretation of the bird in doll form, I was also inspired by the anime. Mainly by this scene, where it sits on its throne like an empress. And by this episode, where Misty wants to win her own set of Hina dolls. More about that in the outfit phase. So, let's begin and make Ho-Oh, the rainbow Pokemon. If you saw Ho-Oh's wing in my previous repaint video, then you found the hint. And if you saw a little Clefairy hiding, then you found the hint for the new Supporter exclusive video, Clefairy, which is now available. For this project, we're going to use a lot of dolls and doll pieces, like this Gulia, Spectra hat, these double jointed knees, and these feet. I think I took from a BTS doll. Yeah, it's going to be a complex doll. Let's switch this Gulia with a different one, because the hips on this doll are so worn out and loose, and I really want this doll to hold a pose. Okay, time to go to the cutting table. The feet need to be turned into talons. And we also solve the lower legs of the doll. The pieces that are left over can be stored for a future project. Great, we got all the right parts for our doll. Let's prep the doll's head. To remove the head from the body, we first fill a mug with hot water. Dunk the doll in it and let it soak for a while. This will make the head soft and easy to remove from the neck back. Great! Now we can work on Ho-Oh's actual head. To remove the hair, we first need to cut as close to the head as possible. Then we go through the neck opening with tweezers to remove the remaining hairs. With pure acetone, we remove the factory painted face. And of course, the huge. Okay, reroute time. To reroute the doll hair, we use, well, a reroute tool. This is actually a holder with a needle cut on an angle. This way, we can take a strand of hair, slide it on the needle, and push it into the doll's head. This takes a lot of time and patience, but with a good series playing in the background, you will get there in no time. To secure the hairs from the inside, we use a universal glue and a Q-tip. Wow, I think this is the first rerouted doll that doesn't get a boil wash. But the hair will get a big treatment later on. For the next part, we really want to place the head back on the body. Great, now we can continue with the face and body modifications. First, the legs. Legs. 
and then the face, or, well, the beak. Shielding off the hair, we're going to make the transition from epoxy sculpt to plastic a bit more seamless by using a Dremel. This will take many, many hours. And now that the Dremel is out, we can also give her a tail hole. And for an even finer sanding, we use a sanding block. Now our doll is ready for some color. We start with white, then gray, then red, a little bit of green, yellow, and black. And at this point, we can also paint in the eye whites. Huh, don't you think she kind of looks like Spider Woman from the 70s? Anywho, to seal in the paint, we use a few layers of matte varnish. The varnish will also give us a great base for the face up. Beginning with some blushing, we give the doll's face some depth. Using watercolor pencils, we draw in the lower waterline. With some paint, we draw in Ho-Ho's signature red eyes. The pupils and shadows with pen pastels. Now that we have all the shadows, we can give it some highlights, like the catch lights. And when you're happy with your face up, you can seal it in with a few layers of Mr. Super Clear. Setting the doll aside for now, we're going to work on Ho-Ho's wings. Which means prepping a lot of feathers. Getting my kitchenware out, we first cut off the fluffy parts of every single feather. The fluffy part is not needed for this project, except for the red ones, which we are going to leave aside. Then we cut every feather into teeny tiny versions of themselves and sort them into colors. About two days later, we got four mugs worth of feathers. Okay, we have our feathers. Now we need to make an armature for the wings. For this, we use a combination of a common wire, florist wire, and aluminum wire. With our custom wire that can endure way more pressure, we make a wing shape. The body of the wing we make out of a stretchy fabric. Looking at the Pokemon, we are going to start with green feathers. Using fabric glue, we are going to start at the tip of the wing with the biggest feathers. Then we continue with smaller feathers into the inside of the wing. Oh, and don't forget the back side of the wing. The second row will be with white feathers. And the last three rows with red feathers. To finish the wing, for now, we glue on red fluff to fill in the last part. Um, I kind of forgot to use my Dremel to widen the armholes, but this also works. Great, we have our doll and we have the wings. 
But before we attach it, let's make our outfit. Three years back, my original plan was to make Ho a empress, inspired by Chinese culture. And if you can see, I even bought fabric and accessories. I'm still going to use the accessories, but I'm going to switch out the fabric. For this one, I got from Japan. Ho oh will still be an empress, but this time I'm taking inspiration from the Hinamatsuri festival, which means doll festival. But it's also known as the Peach Blossom Festival, which is a Japanese holiday where they celebrate girls in a household. It's also a tradition to have a display of Hina dolls, which are usually the royal couple, the emperor and the empress, and its court. Ho oh will be loosely based on the Empress doll. Seeing the festival is also known as the Peach Blossom Festival, I think this fabric will really fit. I also bought one for Lugia. But that's another project. Although I really want to make an accurate June Toye dress, we're going to make one which is way more modern and looks more like a common kimono. But this version will contour the bird-like features way better. Still, this kimono took a lot of time to make. I had to make a pattern from scratch. Cutting out the fabric, we had to line every piece. And then we sew everything together. I'm not sure if I'm the only one, but to me, all the legendary birds are wearing poofy pants. And my dolls are not an exception. Great, now we can attach the underpiece. You probably forgot about this, but ho ho still needs a tail. So we make a hole and glue in a stick. Out of cardboard paper, we make a horn shape. We paint it yellow, and now we can glue in the yellow feathers. Great! Let's attach the tail and wings. Sliding the wings into the armholes, we secure them with super glue. And now we can finally finish the wings with the last row of fluff. Wait for the wings to be fully dry before you slide the sleeve over the wings. And now we can work on our hair. Also inspired by Hina Doll Empress, we're going to give ho -Oh a royal hairdo. This tutorial slash documentary where they explain how they make a Hina doll really helped me to make this hairstyle. So I will link it into the description box. First we color a piece of foam black. And now we can pin them on the head. This way we can lay the hair over to make it look fuller. To keep it neat and stay in place, we have to glue it on the foam. Now that's drying, let's work on our crown. Inspired by the Empress crown, 
and Ho-Ho's head feathers, we designed a new crown that will resemble both. At this point it looks more like corn. When we painted it cold, it looks pretty nice. And I was still able to use the accessories I bought three years ago. Seeing I still have so much left, I also decorated a bell to attach to our rope. Going back to Ho's eyes, I still want to add a sparkle, like a glitter. And speaking of shine, we also add high gloss varnish to the low waterline and beak. And with this, ho ho is done. And here we go, the fourth legendary bird. And who knows, if this video will do well, I make another one. And if you can't get enough of Pokemon dolls, I made another one for supporters of the channel on my Patreon and YouTube membership. So if you like a doll with a lot of body mods, you will definitely like this video about Clefairy. So check out the link below. It would really help out this channel to produce more repaint videos on YouTube. But if you can be a supporter, that's totally okay. By liking, commenting or sharing this video with a Pokemon loving friend, this channel will be able to grow. I would like to thank my Patreons of Honor, Chelsea Panda Monkey, Manning Dreams, Winter Fox, Cat Vanity, Kei Namaru, Olivia W, Picha D. Puff, and everyone else on Patreon and YouTube memberships. You really make this channel possible. Thank you for watching. And like always, like if you liked it and sub if you loved it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!